hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Juliet so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how I recreated this lovely sleeve first you're going to start by measuring your finished armhole just like I'm doing here and whatever you get keep that measurement in mind I got nine inches here so I'm going to add two inches to that to fold my fabric so 9 plus 2, that is 11. So my fabric here is 11 inches on fold. And then the length, I added extra 3 inches to the full length that I am working with. So on this open end, I came down by 4 inches. And on the folded side, I went in by 3 inches. After that, I made a curve to that 3 inches point, And then I curved it out to the other edge like so. So next, I'm going to mark where the... Um, balloon part is going to sit and I am marking 10 inches so wherever you want it to sit you are going to add extra half inch to that so if you want it to sit on 10 inches point you are going to mark 10 and a half like I did here and then so here I'm marking the half inch but I've, I really preferred it from the previous place so that is where it's going to be but don't cut yet i was not supposed to cut that yet i'm going to measure around this curve until i get to nine inches then i will mark and then i will measure another two inches for sewing allowance and make a mark as well so at the hem of the sleeve i'm going to mark the sleeve opening that i'm working with i'm working with nine inches so divided by two that is four and a half so i mark four and a half and then I marked extra 2 inches for allowance. So I'm going to connect all these points like so. And then go ahead and cut out that 10 inches point, 10 and a half inch point that I made. And then the curve. So if this is your first time on this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Kindly consider subscribing and give this video a like. Thank you. So after cutting out, this is it. I'm going to cut the second sleeve as well. Here now is my fabric. So that 10 inches, we're going to cut another, the balloon part. But we're going to add extra 5 inches to that. So here I measured 23 inches on my fabric. This is the edge of the Ankara. And then I folded it over. So I'm having about 23 inches here on fold. Like so. So I'm using 20, I need about 15, but because we are going to be cutting on the bias, we may need more than that. So whatever it is you have, you're going to add extra and use that to fold. And if at the end of the day you have less than what you need, you may need to open it up and fold again. So I'm folding again in form of a triangle, as you can see. I just hope you are following. But this is it. I'm folding. I folded into two first. And then I folded the edge again in form of a triangle. Now I'm placing this part of my sleeve on top. And I'm going to measure from there, from the beginning of the sleeve. And then I will add extra 5 inches like I said. So the way you place this sleeve it depends on how much fabric you have to work with. So this is how I'm placing it. So after marking the 5 inches, I took the tape back to the top and then I measured to that point and I'm marking that same measurement all across. After that, we're going to cut this upper part the same as the, the sleeve. And then we'll cut the mark, the line on the lower part like so. So because it's folded into two, we are going to get two of the sleeve pieces. This is it. This part is on fold, so I'm going to be cutting that open, as you can see. After that, we're going to take all these pieces to the sewing machine now. I'm going to go fold this lower part first. And then after folding, I will now join using that mark, the line, and also the upper sleeve. We're going to be doing the same thing for the second sleeve. Fold the lower hem and then join the sides. 
the same for the upper part. We're going to do the same for this. Fold um, right sides together and then close the, the sides. So we have two inches of uh, seam allowance on the upper part. So when you're joining, you make sure you're holding at least two inches on the upper part. So after sewing all the pieces together, this is what we have. Next, I'm going to you fold the place the lower part of the sleeve right sides together with the uh, uh, flay part. So I will locate the side seam of this part and then the side seam of the flay part. Place them together, right sides together, and then I'm using my pin now to hold it in place. So I'm going to pleat it right sides together all around that lower uh, part of the sleeve. So I'll take it to the machine and then make pleats. I'm matching the midpoint of the sleeve to the midpoint of the center point of the flay piece. I'll go make this pleat all around that point. And then I will sew the upper piece, the, the upper piece over it, right sides together as well, and making sure that the side seams are matching. I will do the same thing for the second sleeve. So after sewing, this is what we have. We're going to pull this down now and make sure that the upper parts of the inner sleeve and the flay part are matching. So I'm going to use my pin now and hold together this side. And then I will do the same thing for the midpoint. This is what the sleeve is looking like. So you can just use go so round that point with a loose stitch before we we'll attach it to the body of the dress. So here's the dress now. I'm going to pin the side seam of the sleeve to the side seam of the dress. And then the midpoint to the shoulder, right sides together. Using my pins to hold those in place, I will take it to the machine now and sew round. And I will do the same for the second sleeve. And that is it for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one.